What's up, you guys? Divine Chakras here. Um, this is not going to be like a full-on video. Um, I wanted to come to you guys because I really felt I'm like real comfortable right now, y'all. So y'all going to have to just, you know, go with it. Um, I really felt compelled to come to you guys and talk to you. Sorry, y'all. I keep moving the camera. But it is what it is. So I wanted to come to you guys because I really felt compelled to give you guys an update on um, something very near and dear to my heart. And it is my yoni eggs and my um, seventh generation tampons. And you're probably sitting here like, Shalom, what the frick are you talking about, right? But... um. I got my cycle on Sunday. Today is Tuesday. And I wanted to just talk to you guys about the differences that I've been seeing in my menstrual cycle and the things that I have been noticing um, overall as a result of me using Yoni eggs um, as well as me using the seventh generation tampons. So... Um, you guys may have saw my video like maybe uh, two months ago or so when I was talking about um, natural body products that I use. And one of them um, was this brand of tampons. Okay. Now, um, the reason why I switched brands of tampons is because um, of the, the, the actualization and realization and coming to... Um, coming into awareness, like full awareness of the toxins that I was actually putting in my body. And um, tampons actually have several, several different um, chemical toxins that are very, very detrimental to our health as women. And they lead to a lot of things um, all the way from, um, you know, fibroids and cysts and tumors Okay, and cancers within the uterus as well as the female uh, reproductive system. They also cause um, severe cramping as well as severe and um, heavier bleeding. And that is how they get us, um, aside from birth control, which I'm not on birth control and I haven't been on birth control in years, um, probably damn near almost a decade now. But um, as far as tampons are concerned you know I am a faithful user of tampons I know that some women don't use tampons and that's fine that is my preference and I am I am you know I have my right to have my own preference as to how I want to you know how I want to take care of my monthly cycle and I prefer tampons so I do use tampons and and for a long time I was using um the regular tampax tampons and I can now say um and, and I mean, I don't have the prescription in front of me to show you guys, but I took ibuprofen 800 for years, and I'm talking years, a decade plus that I've been taking ibuprofen 800. This is the first time in a dec over a decade that I have never, ever, ever had to take any medicine. And I haven't taken medicine for my cramps in about seven months now. Um, I've been really... Um, connecting with my womb and connecting with my di di female divinity in order to push through the cramps, um, especially the first, you know, two and a half or so days when, you know, you feel your most bloated, um, when you have the most cramps and things of that sort. I can guarantee you that by using the yoni eggs, they have strengthened my pelvic wall and they have helped subside the cramps to the point where they are manageable. Um, there is still a little pain there, but it's definitely manageable. And all I have to do is just breathe through it and really connect with the pain. Um, I also will, you know, put a uh, amethyst. Um, I'll wear like an amethyst or something in my pocket just to help send the um, pain, uh, pain subsiding frequencies because amethyst does help with subsiding pain. Or I will like carry like a jasper or a carnelian on me to help with, um, you know, helping out with the sacral frequency. But as far as like just the overall health and the overall flow of my blood, these tampons have lessened the blood flow. Um, I literally notice a thousand percent difference in the amount of blood that flows from my body um, and the amount of time that my actual cycle lasts. 
Um, and from my understanding, you know, our cycles aren't supposed to be as heavy as they are because the heavier your cycle, the more um, cramps you produce um, and things of that sort and the more issues and problems that you have overall. Um, and I know at one point, you know, they were looking um, and I forgot what the what the actual condition is where you have like the super severe cramps. But, um, you know, for a while, even as a, a younger child, when I, I started my period when I was in fourth grade, um, you know, I would be doubled over with cramps and it would just hurt so bad. Um, and even when I was wearing tampons, you know, I was wearing <clears throat> the always and Tampax tampons that have the chemicals in them. Um, and, you know, those chemicals, again, they, they make you have to buy tampons more often, right? Why? Um, you know, because they're trying to get more money out of you. They, they are, it's, it's all, it's all about control and it's all about control on a mass scale and about mass production, production and, and mass income. You know, they want to get more money from us. So hence, you know, if you have cramps, then you have to go buy, uh, you know, might all, you know, and might all is, is probably in cahoots with Tampax or, or Playtex or one of the those co 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 companies out there that have, um, you know, to do with female, um, you know, with female menstrual products. It's something that happens to us on a monthly basis, sometimes two to twice a month um, for those women that will sometimes get their period twice a month. So you have to remember, you know, they are making a, they're making a bargain off of you um, and you purchasing, um, you know, menstrual products. So, you know, if you have not yet switched over from regular tampons to the seventh generation tampons, this is the super. They do have regular as well, which is yellow. The super is green, obviously. I would highly recommend switching over. Um, I do want to purchase the Diva Cup, but it is $40, and I just have yet to invest $40 in a Diva Cup, but it is washable, um, and you know you don't have to keep continuing to purchase um, tampons. Now, these tampons are cotton-based. All right, they are cotton-based. They don't have any chemicals in them, so you cannot catch toxic shock syndrome, but you still want to use them as if you would any other tampon, so you want to make sure that you're changing it, um, you know, between four to five hours, four to, well, four to six. Four to five hours, depending on your flow. Um, and yeah, I mean, it, it's a lot more healthier. You're not putting as many toxins in your body. And I can honestly say from, um, you know, from a witness standpoint, after using these tampons for a few months now, there's definitely a thousand times difference um, in the amount of blood flow that I have on a monthly basis. Now, as far as the pain is concerned, the yoni eggs have definitely been helping with subsiding the pain. They've been helping to strengthen the, um, the pelvic wall as well as, as well as sending healing frequencies um, into the womb, right? Um, and just helping me to heal my, my female organ system overall. So if you are looking and wanting to, you know, not take medicine anymore, right? Because the ibuprofen and the Tylenol do put the toxins into our liver, um, you know, and they do uh, put other toxins into the body. Um, of course, taking out the toxins of the tampons from using Playtex um, and Always and, and those other companies that do um, give toxic shock, shock syndrome potentially if you um, have the, if, if your body is susceptible to getting that disease, which you don't know, um, you know, if, if you want to, you know, cut down your risk on that um, almost to 0%, and if you want to get rid of, you know, your cramps, also connecting with your female divinity, also, um, you know, the snatchback, all right, the um, the spanks for, for the vagina, then get yourself, get yourself some yoni eggs. I've talked about my yoni eggs several times, but um, this is the large egg. This is the medium egg. I do use both. Um, depending if, you know, if I fall off or if I slack off or um, things of that sort that I may use the rose quartz. But this is my black obsidian yoni egg. This one tends to slip out um, a lot. <laughs> so I do need to start um, back with using this one first um, and then going back down to the black obsidian. But I will use the black obsidian if I feel like I need to really ground myself or if I feel like there's some things that I need to work through if I'm doing like shadow work then I will use the the um the black obsidian but this is my baby this is my favorite it's very gentle I am going to be investing in a large um in a large jade egg but if you are looking to 
um, purchase Yoni eggs, then um, I will put a link in the description box below of the eggs of the egg site that I use. Also, I will put in the description box below the full name of the um, seventh generation cotton 100% cotton tampons okay and again um, if you are interested in getting cups there is the diva cup which is on the market for $40 there is um, other versions of cups like the soft cups version I do have the soft cups but the cups are very uncomfortable to me um, honestly I don't like using them that's why I do want to um, invest in a diva cup because I know a lot of women that use it and they absolutely love it but um, the shift is here, the shift to, um, you know, getting back to the female divine and really connecting with our womb, our, our sacral areas, um, really healing ourselves. And then, of course, you know, once you heal yourself, you heal all the women before you and you heal all the women after you. So, you know, if you don't want your daughter going through the same things you went through with her menstrual, which I know I don't want my daughter going through that pain, then I'm definitely going to be making sure that I educate her on the proper things to use that don't have any toxins. Okay. Also, um, I just wanted to put out there that I did switch up my feminine wash. Um, I used to use the Target brand, the up and up um, brand version of the female wash. I no longer use that female wash. Um, the, the female wash that I use now, um, oh my gosh, I should go get it. Hold on. I'm going to get, I'm going to go get the wash so that you guys can see it because I'm absolutely freaking loving this wash. It is so freaking good. Hold on. Let me go get it real quick. Hold on. I'll be right back. okay so um this is it right here and you can get this from target i believe it's like 6.99 um it is called the sweet spot labs it is 97 percent natural um this is the grapefruit verbena one um so it is 97% natural. There is also the Honey Pot, and I know that the Honey Pot has great products for uh, feminine washes as well as um, pads and also um, wipes as well. My Target does not sell the Honey Pot, but I am very, very interested in using their products as well. But um, if you do want to use this product, then please, by by me by any means, go and get it. It is also eight fluid ounces, so you get a lot of product in there, and it is so creamy. Um, like you only need a very little bit, and I love that they have the. Sorry, I know that they have the scratch and sniff. I love this, so that you can smell it. It smells so good. My favorite one is the like the other the vanilla one, but they didn't have any more. And when I went to Target, they had buy one get one thirty percent off. So I ended up purchasing two. So this is the one that is empty. The other one, obviously, that I have is in the shower. So I will have that one for a while. Um, I'll have these two for a while because this product is so creamy. There's so much um, in there, and um, yeah, you guys, I, I've been enjoying it. So I feel like this has um, also a lot to do with, you know, just the overall maintenance and upkeep of, you know, my vaginal area, obviously. And um, you guys know I do um, get Brazilian waxes. That may be TMI for some, but, um, you know, I enjoy um, thoroughly <laughs> getting my um getting my Brazilian waxes as well as um, my underarm waxes. So I do wax once a month. Um, it is probably one of my favorite things to do as far as maintenance and upkeep. So I just wanted to throw that out there if anybody was interested um, or if you were curious, um, you know, about waxing, then I can definitely maybe do a video on that. Or maybe I can go and interview my waxer when I go um, to get my waxing done. She is located here in Columbia, Maryland, and she's African-American too. So I just want to throw that out there. But um, 
that's all I have for you guys today. I just really felt compelled to quickly come on and just talk about my journey, um, my follow-up journey with my Yoni eggs, as well as, um, again, the seventh generation tampons. They have been truly helping. Um, I don't take any more medicine, you guys. No more ibuprofen 800. I don't need to like dope myself up in order to feel better throughout the day. Um, the bloating is going away. Just the overall discomfort of my cycle is going away. Even like my emotional uh, roller coaster up and down like episodes are not even like a thing anymore you know I can literally enjoy my life and also have my period and I'm starting to actually appreciate and love my moon cycle I'm actually um, beginning to really get in touch with my feminine psych my feminine side through my cycles I used to hate my cycles but now like um, you know I'm actually looking into um, doing some uh, blood uh, magic some ministry some blood ministration or ministration blood magic and um, I will be coming to you guys with that video probably in about a month or so when I do some experimentation and, you know, I really see what the power of using blood can do in magic. So I love you guys so much. This is probably a ladies only video, but I know that there are some men that are very interested in, you know, understanding the aspect of female divinity and what that means. And this is definitely a large aspect of it is Yoni eggs. If you are interested in seeing my previous videos on Yoni eggs, um, they are one of, they are both my top uh, viewed videos on my channel. So please look further back into the feed um, and you'll be able to see my video on my Yoni eggs. So I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching and I will check you in the next video. Namaste. Peace.